Now let me stop. I hope y'all are more than well. Of course, I came on here today because I wanted to show y'all like a little mini haul of the stuff that I bought after moving into my new place. Y'all, first of all, let me just say thank you so much for all of the love you guys have sent us. Um, I am super happy and super excited. Um, I have loved it here so far. It's so quiet. The neighborhood is perfect. We're in proximity to everything. So it has been love since being here. I absolutely love my place. I'm still moving a lot of stuff in um, from out of the storage unit, but I don't have much more to go um, for that. Y'all look at my flowers. <laughs> Carlos got me some flowers as a movie and gift. Wasn't that so sweet? <laughs> he didn't have to do that, but he did. <laughs> that was so sweet of him. What a kind gesture. But I wanted to show y'all what I got as my first little mini haul um, for the apartment. And honestly, I really wasn't trying to do too much. You know what I'm saying? Because um, there's a lot of things that I really want to get. But my taste is a little bit, hmm, how can I say this? expensive my taste is a little bit expensive peace everybody how y'all doing today let me ask y'all that first how y'all doing today i am doing well i can't complain about anything i'm so happy um i'm in very high spirits how can you not be right but let me show y'all what i got so the first thing well this is actually not my first haul because well, it's my first haul for y'all, but this is not my first shopping trip. I actually went to TJ Maxx last night and I got um, some white towels. I got my bedding for my bed that my mom gave me. And she did like a, a review on a king size mattress and she was going to give it to my grandma, but she waited and held it for me all of this time. And so she gave it to me as a gift. Um, so I had went and got me some king size sheets and some... Um, like a comforter set from TJ Maxx. And then I went and got some towels, some more white towels from TJ Maxx and some Paleo Santos and some, um, what's it called? Some um, sage. So, you know, I had to cleanse the energy out of here. We don't know who was in here before me, so I had to do that. But I got these towels right here from Sam's Club, y'all. These towels were like $6 a piece. You can't beat that. These are nice big towels, like the hotel towels, really thick really soft i'm gonna wash these so i'm gonna put them over here but i had um got some up some more of those um then so like i told y'all there's really nothing in here um I, i'm starting over from scratch so there's this lamp that i really really want it's a vintage lamp it came from target target sold it a few years ago they've never sold another one like it it's a floor lamp it's like really tall but I, I seen it on Facebook market and I really want to go get it. So I've been begging my mama to ride with me to Virginia to go get this lamp because it's one of a kind like you are not going to like it's It's my aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? And I really know I need it. I need it. Y'all look a little bit. um, Y'all looking a little dusty. Let me see if I can wipe y'all off real quick. Um, But it's definitely. That's better. That's better. It's definitely my aesthetic. So I have to get it. Like I told her I really have to have it. She like you need to copy and paste it into Google and see if they got any more like it and they don't, okay? And the ones that I did see were actually going for like $200, $250. I'm gonna go get my lamp. And I told her or whoever I was talking to, him, her, I don't even know. I'm gonna come up there and get it this weekend because I need my lamp. But that's neither here nor there. I was telling y'all that so y'all can understand why I bought this little lamp right here. I bought this little small lamp. It's really small. I mean, you can kind of see how small it is. But I just thought it would be cute to kind of put in my room um on a nightstand that i had already had but i just got from out of storage um earlier today but i needed a lamp because we don't have a lamp upstairs in the bedroom but the lamp that i'm getting for for the vintage lamp that i'm getting from virginia is actually um for the living room so it's not even for the bedroom so i just bought that just you know for now but i actually like it and i want to go back and get the other one but they didn't have another one at that particular walmart but i looked it up and they had one at another one and I thought those are so cute and chic. Like the dish right here, this part of it is really giving me like a vintage feel. And it's so simple. Like I love it so much. So that's really why I had got that one. Um, then, of course, I needed some wear. Now, let me tell y'all, I honestly do not like the metal silverware. I don't, 
I, I honestly feel like it comes off in our food. I don't know, it's just something, maybe it's just mental, maybe it's just me. But I was looking for woodware, but I couldn't find no woodware in there and this was all they had. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just get this for now, but I'm gonna be looking for some woodware because I really just want to eat with the wood utensils. I feel like it's healthier for you and I don't know. They're just me, just me. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I got this knife because I, again, don't have no type of eating wear. So I bought this knife, which is really cute. It actually has like some designs in the, um, in the middle that I thought was super cute. But it's just like a regular knife overall. Like it just, it can do what it's supposed to do, okay? Then I bought, I think I bought like five, five rags. I don't know why, but they don't sell white rags in the stack. Like you know how you can go and they'll have the colored rags or like the black and the white ones. They don't sell them in a stack. So I was, I'm gonna just get these for now and probably try and order me some off of Amazon because you know, they usually do stuff more in bulk. So I'm gonna order me some white rags off of Amazon. Then I got, again, the boys don't even have anything here right now. We are waiting for their beds to come in from Amazon. I'm waiting for their beds to come in. Um, a little 40, or I'm sorry, a 60, 69 piece set of wooden animal toys is coming in. Um, their mattresses are coming in and it's supposed to all come this weekend, hopefully, um, from Amazon. But I bought them this. Cause I thought this was super cute. I'm so into the Montessori style learning. And so, you know, imaginative play. So I bought them this so that they can, um, you know, have something to do while we're here. Um, oh, and I did buy them both like um, as a little housewoman gift, kind of bring them some comfort. I had bought them these, they're like little plushies, like really soft little plushies. I had bought them those yesterday from, um, Five Below. I bought them from Five Below because I need to go to Five Below to find a, um, a, um, what did I go in there for? I can't remember. I was supposed to go in there for a speaker, but I forgot and ended up getting something else. Y'all know how it is. Ended up getting something else. Then I found, it's the colors for me. This was totally about the colors, but these are some dish rags so I can wash my little dishes. I got this. A tub stopper because for whatever reason the bathtub the boys bathroom upstairs don't like when i try and use the little lever thing to like close off the tub to fill the water up because i was gonna take me a bath baby she was gonna take a bath last night i had to clean out the tub i was so ready to take me a bath my first little bath you know what i'm saying in a while um since being on the move but it didn't have no tub stopper like the water kept going out so i was like let me go get me one so i grabbed me one of those the old school too with the with the chain on it, baby. Then, I had got two of these because I really want to hang my plants up right here. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Like right here, maybe on the other side of this. So like, put the hook right here and I have two hanging plants. This one, my golden pothos, I thought to put it right here and then I was gonna put another one right here. As y'all can see, my plants don't really have much of a home yet. They're kind of just all over the place. But um, yeah, so I was gonna hang these, use these to hang my plants up there. Okay. And so, that's that. Then I got these. So of course y'all know I'm all into the wood, like using wood for real or like more natural stuff to like cook with and to eat out of. So I had bought these two by my girl. I actually have a cutting board that I bought from her, bought from her um, collection a few years ago. And it literally, she kept her, the collection has still been the same. I think it's changed just a little bit, but it's literally still been the same. Um, it's right here. Yeah, this cutting board right here. I bought this a few years ago, so she's still kind of doing the same style stuff. Um, the Pioneer Woman. Um, but yeah, so that. Then, I went to Sam's Club and I bought. Now, I was looking. Now, honestly, I didn't really know. Like, I had my eye on a different, like, cookware set. But 
me being me, I went and bought a whole refrigerator full of groceries, cabinet full of groceries today, and didn't think like, what am I gonna cook in? So I was looking for like, maybe like one little pan that I could use or something like that. But I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. Um, because I do like the color and, um, I just, I've had my eye on this color, but it was a different brand. And I seen it on um, Amazon, but I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and get this one because why not? So I bought this one. Um, and it's a, it's an 11 piece set, super cute, right, right? Um, so we're just gonna go with this one for now. And if I see the one I want, maybe later in life, <laughs> I'll get it. Um, Cause it was actually way more expensive than this one was. This set right here, I think was 169 at Sam's. I bought it today. So that's dope. that's not bad, um, especially for what I had been seeing on Amazon. Then I went to um, Five and Below because I had I had um, had to work today, so I did have a, a therapy session with one of my clients. And so after our session, I, she wanted to go to Five and Below, so I was like, okay, yeah, girl, let's go. So when I went in there, I saw this, and the first thing I thought about with this was this, like. How cute, right? To just sit up. Y'all know. I, now this is just so cute. Now this would just be so cute sitting up on this. Like over here. Hold on, let me show y'all. Like over there somewhere, right? Y'all, y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, I just thought that would be so cute. And of course it needs some more little wood and things, but I saw that in five below and I just had to get it. I knew exactly what I was gonna use it for um when I seen it. So that's what I did. That's what I got it for. <laughs> I got it for what I got it for. Then y'all, let me tell y'all, I done lost the charger to my laptop. Um, so I, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it's at, but I'm gonna order a new one from Apple if I don't find it within the next week or so. But in the meantime, I bought this as a backup. So this is really just for my, um, my, my laptop. And y'all, let me show you. So y'all know, I don't know, maybe y'all do or don't, but in our city, we just got these new, this this place called the Treasure Bin or the Treasure Hunt or something like that. But it's this store that you go in and on different days, they have like a certain amount that you can spend or like that, that all of their products are. So like a dollar or $5 day or $3 day or $12 day, however it is, right? So my look, my client done convinced me to go up in there, honey. So I'm like, okay, let's go girl, you know what I'm saying? So we go up in there and I found this. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It was just a dollar, right? So I'm like, oh, it, it can fit my laptop. Look, it's like snake skin, y'all, for a dollar. I was like, baby, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? It's a tray. It don't even fit. It don't even fit. Like, not even a little bit. It doesn't fit. I took the top of my laptop off and everything. Like, this right here is actually a cover that I have on here right now. And I took it off and tried to fit it, baby. It don't fit. And I was like, you know what? It's cool. It was just a dollar. So whatever, you know. Um, she talking about you need to just glue it on there. And we bust out laughing because, girl, don't make me, don't make me try. No, I'm just playing. But I just thought that would have been so cute, right? And fancy, like, girl, look at her. She a fancy therapist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, it ain't. Mm -mm. It ain't fit, so I can't be fancy like I thought I was gonna be. Um, then I found this Mindful Thoughts for Mothers A Journey of Loving Awareness. And it's a two book, it's a two book thing. I absolutely love it. If you ever go and follow below, look in their book section, they have really nice self care journals. Um, shadow work journals, um, couples, journals, and diaries. Like, they have all types of stuff. And as you can see, stuff for moms and dads. And so they have one for fathers, too. Mindful Thoughts for Fathers, A Journey of Loving Kindness. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to give this one to Carlos because why not, right? We can always better ourselves as parents. And then I'm going to keep this one and read this one. And I'm going to stay up on him, too, about it. You, you've been reading your book. You know what I'm saying? And so it has all of these things in here for us to just be better parents and more mindful. And why not? Like, why wouldn't we do that? So I got that as well. And then I got, oh, 
I got this little keychain just to go on my keys because baby, it's a new it's a new start. And I just thought this was super cute. Of course y'all know, I think I am just like a freaking fairy. I'm a fairy and a, mer and a mermaid and all of those things wrapped in one. So that's why I got this. But I thought this was just so cute to just have on my keys. You know what I'm saying? I won't lose them if I see this. Like to me, keychains help you know where your keys are at. Like you're gonna be looking for the things on your keys. It's kind of hard to keep up with some keys. It's just like a, a gold key. So I decided to get this to kind of keep up with my keys better. Um, and the boys are definitely gonna think that's a toy and be messing and playing. So lastly, I bought a 42 inch Phillips TV. I don't know if that's a good TV or not. I don't even care. And let me tell y'all why. So this TV is definitely going to be for the boys, okay? It's going to go in the boys' room. But I just wanted to get something for now because we don't have a TV at all. Let me tell y'all why. Because I think I told y'all that I just had to buy a TV when we were at the last place. So I had a TV. Um, it was a nice TV. It was an LG. And I had put it up on this stand. And this is when Carlos had moved out of the, uh, of the apartment that we were in. And so it was just me and the boys there for our last month. And so I had put the move all of our stuff into the living room because um, he had took everything else or, you know, I had told him he could take everything else. So I had moved everything into the living room that we did have. And we only had the one TV that I had bought earlier in me and Carlos relationship. So I was like, you know, that was my, that was mine. So I had brought it into the living room and put it on a stand, but the stand was, the floor was un, like, the floor is not uneven. The stand was uneven, like the legs on the stand, but I didn't think nothing of it. I just thought, you know, let me just put it in here and I'm going to put the TV on it. So I did, one day I was cleaning up and I had shut, I had shut the door on it too hard. Y'all, it fell on my back. It fell on my back and my head and it broke, y'all. <laughs> y'all broke the TV on my head. Damn. <laughs> Y'all, I broke the TV on my head, y'all. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I literally had to collect myself a little bit before I got up. Because dang, like, it literally had a dent in it where it hit, hit me on, on the top of my head, okay? But your girl survived. Did I survive? And um, that same night, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get one exactly like it. So I went to Best Buy and I bought another one. And I was like, okay, cool. And so while I was in between houses, because my transition did not happen as smoothly as I wanted it to. So, which I'm gonna tell y'all that in another time, because it was just a lot going on for me. So I moved out of the apartment in February and I had just found this place yesterday. I just found, signed my lease yesterday, literally, and moved in here. So all of that time, the whole month of March, pretty much, and the end part of February, I was just, pretty much pillow to post. I was at my mom sometimes and I was at Carlos sometimes, but it was just on and off because I was just really like, you know what I'm saying with everybody. So, um, anyways, while we were at Carlos's house, I had left the TV at the, in the boys room at Carlos's house because the TV that he had on the wall had just stopped working. He, we, he had done had it for years and it had stopped working. So I was like, why not? I'm gonna just give it to the boys. It was gonna be their TV anyway when we moved. So I put it in there. Now, mind you, I had spent some money on that TV and I had got the exact same one. It fell on my head and broke. And um, I put it in the boys' room one day. Now, Solar is in this stage right now where he has these... He's, I don't want to consider him an angry child, but he's learning how to express his emotions. And he has really big emotions. So, one day, he we had turned it whenever he's not listening or he's doing something he's not supposed to and he gets the opportunity to watch tv or whatever that looks like um if he's not doing what he's supposed to or he's not listening you can't hear us talking to you okay we're gonna turn the tv off okay you know what i'm saying because you you can't hear let me help you hear a little bit you know what i'm saying so turn the tv off he likes to do this thing where he'll try and beat you to turn the tv off like he wants to he'll either grab your remote and like if you say you know what you're not listening do i need to turn the tv off his attitude he he tries to get ahead of the game so he'll like grab the remote and call himself trying to turn it off so this time instead of him doing that he was in there with his daddy so i don't really know what happened i just know carlos had called me like you will not believe what happened so i brought the tv 
So I guess he had an attitude or something and threw something at the TV or threw something across the room or tried to turn the TV off with something. I don't know. But y'all, he bust the TV up. The, the, the TV I just, child, the TV that I just got after the one fell on my head, I went and bought the same exact one, okay, for $300 and gone. I didn't even have it a month. We didn't even have it a month. So I said, you know what? Now we in here. And it's very quiet. They don't have anything to do. Solar does have a tablet, which I do let him get on there every now and then, but not often. Because he just gets too up close on it for me. So, um, I have, I was like, okay, if I'm going to get a TV this time, I'm going to get one that's cheap. Okay, and I'm definitely going to mount it up this time. Because both times the TV was not mounted. It was just on a stand. Um, but I'm going to get something cheap that I can put on the wall. So, I have found a TV. I'm going to show it to y'all. I found a TV at Sam's Club for um $149. And it's a 42 inch. That's decent. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna have to work with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't buy no warranty on it or none of that, which I probably should have, but whatever. If they break that one, that's it. I'm not getting no more TVs. Y'all just gonna be looking crazy with some tablets and stuff. Um, but yeah, that was my mini haul. That was my mini haul. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do too much. Like, I have a lot of stuff that I still need to pay for and buy. And so I, I had made sure that, you know, my savings, I have my, you know, my first month's rent. Like, I'm very, um, how do you say it? Um, I am already frugal. I'm really very frugal. Um, it took a lot for me to just buy the little bit of stuff that I did buy from like a regular commercial store because any other time, baby, I'm running to the Goodwill. I'm running to the freaking thrift store. I'm running, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm going from. I'm running the Facebook market. But as far as the stuff that I did buy, I felt like that was necessary to buy, you know what I'm saying, immediately. Um, and I didn't really want to have to wait. But the next few videos y'all going to see are going to be me either repurposing stuff um, because I have been looking on Facebook market for a kitchen table. I've been looking on Facebook Market for lamps for the rooms. I did buy the boys' bed and their mattresses new. I don't. I think it's kind of nasty to buy like a used mattress or like I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. So I bought their bed and their um, mattresses brand new, and their toys are new, of course. I do get toys for them from the thrift store from time to time, but it just depends on the type of toy that it is. But other than that, y'all are gonna be seeing me get like stuff that has is second hand or that I have repurposed. Um especially because my style is really like that mid-century modern vintage like think about like the 60s and the 70s era, the wicker furniture, the amber, the um like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my style. So it's so crazy because now, you know, they do have that as an option in like your regular mainstream stores or whatever you call them, the franchise type stores, but they're so expensive. Like they are up pricing the type, the modern, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff and baby, who y'all think about to pay? Okay. First of all, the couch that I want it. because I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all like my little Pinterest, my little Pinterest board that I done put together. I'm going to do it in like, maybe like a little short video so y'all can see like what my thoughts are my ideas if y'all know somebody if you are selling something baby i am a traveler i am a traveler okay and i'll go get the items that i want you know what i'm saying if i don't have to pay for it like the, the how expensive the stuff is online um so i was thinking about that you know what i'm saying like i really just want it to be like me like i just know my style and i just know i, I have this vision that i can just put together and i can do it with the vintage stuff like the thrift stores are giving, especially the newer ones that got the real old stuff or the real old dirty, dusty vintage store. I mean, um, thrift stores, they be having the stuff. You feel me? So I've been um thinking about, you know, that type. I've been thinking about that. Um, but yeah. What? Okay. But how y'all doing? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show y'all what I got going on. Peace, everybody. I'm so glad to be back. I really am. I really am so glad to be back with y'all. Conversing, exchanging good energy, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah. 
I wish y'all funky ass, thank ass, excuse my language, <laughs> trolls would get out of my um live. Cause yeah, y'all got better stuff to do. Or maybe y'all don't. Y'all just wanna be over here looking at me. But um yeah, I'm super excited. Let me get up off of here because I forget how people get. Y'all are so stupid. Don't have nothing else better to do. What happened to your hair? No, I'm just playing. Let me get up off of here because I got I got time. I always got time. And I don't got time. I don't got time at the same time, but I got time. But yeah. I'm um peace lovely. I am, y'all. I am in such a good space. I am in such a good space now. I'm so happy. I feel so much free, freer. I feel so much lighter. I feel extremely heavy. But I just want to save that conversation for another video because y'all, I got to tell y'all, like for real, it was, it was getting, it was getting there. And my level of patience was very small. Like I consider myself to be a patient person, but when it came to that situation like depending on or being in somebody else's space sharing space that i knew was in mine doing the back and forth like my patience level went from like maybe like what i would consider to be like a 9.5 down to maybe like a three and it was like i was forcing myself to be cordial you know what i'm saying to be cordial to be cool to be calm to be collected to be okay and i really was not okay but i made myself okay because okay you have to depend on people right now Quita. so you can't be out here like saying what you really want to say or doing what you really want to do like you actually got to have a little piece of respect you know what i'm saying even though respect might not have been given you know what i'm saying but i still was like trying to keep myself but that's neither here nor there i'm just so happy i am enjoying my new space i'm about to cook for my kids they're on their way back home so I'm about to cook for my kids. I got some notes to do for work. And yeah. Oh, hopefully this will charge my laptop because my laptop has been dead. I'm hoping that this charger will charge my laptop. Because, yeah. And if it don't, it's going to have to go back. It's going to have to go back because I did not buy this to just have it sitting and it ain't working. But I'm hoping that it does work for my... um from my laptop because I need it and I hate the work laptop like I literally tried to do work from the work laptop and it was just ugh it just be so stupid and so slow like you can tell it's a used laptop and I just cannot stand it so yeah left right let me see you do it and you know what a, a cool thing about living here is that um the cool thing about living here is that they actually have a pool in the complex and so my landlord had brought me a um my landlord had brought me a key fob for the pool right isn't that cool like i you know most i don't know i don't know because this is my first time ever like renting or being in a townhome community and so this is my first time ever knowing that they actually had like a pool or whatever. And so I thought that that was like super cool. This better work. I'm not playing. Okay, the light came on. Let's see if it's gonna do something for you, girl. Cause I really, I just wanna use my laptop. I, 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 and it ain't nothing against the company laptop, but yeah, that thing is, ugh. It's, ugh. Let's see. It's not working. Oh, hold on. It's not working. Uh, hold on. No. Uh, it's not even coming on at all. Like, I'm just going to have to take it back. I did only spend $10 on it. I'm definitely going to have to order me a new charger from Apple. Let me go ahead and do that tonight because... There's, there's no way I'm going to be using their computer, their laptop to do my work. Like, I cannot get anything done. Maybe it's that plug. Let me try a different plug. Please let it be that plug because, come on, I'm trying to do work tonight and not on that raggedy laptop. Let me see. Come on, girl. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope, nothing. Nothing. It's not working. It's not working. Let me try a different plug. 
Listen, I'm gonna try every plug in the house till it work. Let me try a different plug. Cause ain't no way. Ain't no way y'all gonna do this to me and I just bought this. I will run this thing back up the hill so quick. I asked, I asked Carlos to bring me a charger. I mean, a charger. To bring me a light bulb from his house because I really need a light bulb. My plants did so well. Like, they flourished so well while they were at my mom's house. They were, like, in perfect living conditions. And um, they flourished so well. I'm so proud of them. <gasps> hey, I think it char it's charging. Hey, it's charging. So, it's those plugs. Somebody, y'all right. Them plugs need to be reset. Um, how do you do it? Which button do you press? Is it the black button or the red button when you're trying to reset the chart? I mean, the plugs. Right, look look at God, girl. What? Yes, that worked out perfectly. How do I, um, do y'all know? Is it the red button or the black button when it comes like, you know how you use the hair dryer and you try and reset it? The red one. Let me see. Cause both of these need to be reset. Okay. Maybe it'll work now, but I'm just so happy this worked for my charger. I mean, for my laptop, but I'm definitely going to still order me another one. Hopefully he don't forget to bring my light bulb for my cute little lamp. I'm going to take y'all upstairs so y'all can see my bedroom. I'm gonna take y'all up there so y'all can see my bedroom and kind of how I got it looking for right now. Oh, I need to clean up and I need to get started on cooking um, before the boys get back. Before the boys get back. Oh, I forget. That's how you turn that light off. I always forget that. And I probably should set the TV up. I really needed their dad to mount this TV, but my internet gets turned on tomorrow. Oh, and then y'all too, I don't know if y'all got spectrum in y'all area. But let me tell y'all about my good old Spectrum bill. So I thought today I was going to be paying a whole bunch of money for Spectrum. Um, I thought I was going to be paying a whole bunch of money. <laughs> Why are they always messing? I thought I was going to be paying a whole bunch of money just to get my Spectrum set up, which is my internet. Um, Spectrum is the carrier. And so I was like, you know, I called the people and... um. I had bought this yesterday, y'all. This was my little lamp night light for last night. But of course, Papa Dean was messing and he kept snatching it out the wall. But I thought that was so cute. Right? Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And y'all, look at how this, look at how this does. This right here. Like, isn't that so fancy? That is so fancy. Like, I know my mom has the one that you can just lift up. It don't lift up. You got to click the button and then you can pull it up or pull it down. And it's for the entire window. Like, <laughs> I thought that was so cute. But this is my bed. I need to find a bed. Um, I want to put it on a platform. I want to put my bed on a platform bed. So I'm not going to want, I'm not going to need, and I also don't want a box spring. Um, to go underneath it because what's the point if I'm going to put it on a platform bed? And I think the platform bed just does so much better to me than it had a box spring in between. Like, I think box springs are so pointless. Like, it's old school. Um, <laughs> that's just my opinion, you know. I ain't trying to knock nobody that's still using a box spring, baby, or still buying one. But I just don't want one. So, I'm looking for a platform bed that's kind of in that, like, that wicker. It's like that. Like that wicker kind of, I know y'all know them old school chairs that was in like that Erica Badu video, like that big round top. It's something like that, but it's kind of made a little bit different. Like it almost looks like a half of a flower or something. But I seen it on somebody's Facebook market, but they weren't advertising the bed, baby. They was advertising the freaking blanket on the bed. Like don't nobody want that stinky blanket, but... I want to know where they got it from, the bed. And I need to message them and ask them because it was so beautiful. And I really want that exact bed. But I know it's going to be expensive because the beds that I have seen that are like the wicker, 
Baby, them things be going for like a thousand, nine hundred, seven hundred dollars. And I'm looking like who who's spending that much on a bed? Like that is crazy to me. Like, and I'm frugal Betty too. Like, what? I'm not trying to spend that much money on no bed, but I want one so bad. And I know, like, you know. If I really want to get it, then I need to just go ahead and drop the money on it. But I have to find one that is the cheapest and that is the cutest and in my style before I spend my coin on it. That's just how I feel about it. But that's really what I want. So I've been kind of taking my time looking for that. But I just wanted to make sure that I did the boys' room and I got all of their stuff taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Because why not? But a, a Peter, a, a Peter Green chair. I don't know. That's probably, you probably right, Chrissy. That's probably what, um, that's probably what, um, I'm talking about. I don't know the name of it. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. Hey, Lachey, how are you, girlfriend? Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are so sweet. Me too, y'all don't understand. Hey, James. James, how you doing, James? James, it's been a while. Hey, Angela. Hi, Deborah. Hi, everybody. Peace, everybody. Thank y'all so much. Y'all so sweet. Y'all so sweet. But, um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Peace, baby. Um, But yeah, I'm just so happy to be here, y'all. Y'all, I'm so happy to be here. I was incognito. I was way underneath the rock, baby. I was, if, I, if there could be, if you couldn't get no lower, baby, I was all the way underneath the rock. I was under the ground. I was underneath the topsoil. You feel me? I was down in the, ooh, child. I could, ooh, ooh, baby. Let me not go there because it was, that's what it was giving. That's what it was feeling like. But I have so many plans. I'm super excited to share with y'all. I'm super excited to share this part of my life with y'all. I'm super excited to share 30 with y'all, what 30 looks like for me. Because I don't know, like, some of the other girls that I be seeing talking about 30 make it seem like it's a bad thing. Baby, 30 is giving, okay? Like, I feel like I'm, I'm happy with my body. I'm happy with where I'm at in life. I'm happy with the money I'm making. I'm just happy. Like, it just all aligned itself so perfectly. And I cannot be more full of gratitude for how everything is unfolding for me. So I just want to show y'all what this looks like for me. You know what I'm saying? And take y'all along the journey. Because, you know, your girl, it's, let me tell y'all something real quick. And it's just me just speaking. Life as a single woman it's total like I, I've always been like a relationship type of girl all my life. I've been from one relationship to the next one to the next one. And it always takes me a long time, like three year relationship, five year relationship, two year relationship. Like I don't waste no time. You know what I'm saying? I, I get in there and I get in there good and I just want to take my time and I want to be with that person forever. That's me. I'm a forever type of person. So this is like the first time that I actually got I'm getting a chance to really self discovery. I'm able to learn myself. I'm able to explore aspects of myself. I'm able to just really get in tune with me. And it feels so like, it feels so like, I don't know, like so surreal. Like, oh my God, like I'm just so excited about it. Like there are times where I be thinking to myself, like, wow, like I used to look at other girls or like my friends and their life and how they're living their life as a single woman and just all of that. And y'all, it's lit over here, baby. It's lit. I don't, I'm not stressing about nothing. The amount of stress that I went through while I was in a relationship was unreal. I don't, I honestly don't even want to feel that. I don't want to feel that anymore. I don't want to be worried about where you at. I don't want to be worried about what you doing. I don't want to be worried about none of that. Like to just be worried about self. Oh, baby. Like I cannot be more grateful for how this time has aligned itself in my life i feel so much more at peace and this is not anything this is not me trying to bash nobody this is just me speaking some real facts you feel me like this is just what what it was for me like i stressed myself then like in a relationship and i've been this way it doesn't it doesn't matter about the person it's really me you know what i'm saying like it's the type of person that i was a certain version of myself where i just had my own personal insecurities and it maybe wasn't something or, or, you know, even with my previous relationships that I had been in, I had kind of got dogged out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of got played out a little bit. And so 
now it's like, y'all, like, to not have to worry, to, like, relinquish that level of control. I have so much other stuff that I am worried about and that I can explore and that I'm expressing, that I'm doing. Like, we about to get shit done. That podcast, baby, I'm ready to talk. Okay, I got time to talk now. I'm not worried about what nobody else is doing. I'm not checking my phone to see what you, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think you'll really understand what I'm saying until you've actually been here or you are here in this space. But it feels amazing. And I'm, I'm not knocking nobody that's in a relationship or whatever y'all got going on, what you do, what you do. But for me, <laughs> for me, baby, <laughs> Look, let me stop for real. But for me, I'm not, oh my gosh, it feels good here. This feels so good here. I feel so much lighter. Like I wouldn't, I, I, I honestly, I wouldn't, I would rather be nowhere else than in my skin and in this moment right now. And I did something the other night that felt so good for me. So Carlos had got the kids for me over the weekend and, um, I, I'm the type of woman that I work, but I'm only going to work. When I get off work, I'm getting my kids. Um, I spend all of my time with my kids unless I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? So I always like feel burned out a little bit because I'm giving them all of my energy. I'm giving other children my energy because I am a child therapist. So I'm giving other children my energy and I have to come home and give them my energy. And so it's just like a, a never ending cycle sometimes, but to have him, you know, be like such a present father, he gets the kids for me when I need for him to. And so this weekend he got the kids for me and my, I, I was talking to my mama and I was at my mama's house, of course. And so she was like, you know, what you going to do? You kid free girl, what you going to do? And I'm just like nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just so used to being in that space of not doing anything with myself or my time. And so other than being with my kids. So, you know, being in that, that specific living situation where I didn't really have my own, I have almost felt like guilt around doing anything for myself outside of the stuff that I did for my birthday. Like, I felt like I needed to do that. Like, this was a milestone. I made it. I did it, you know. Um, so, I did do stuff for my birthday. But other than that, I had just been stacking, saving, and keeping my head down for real, like, all the way down. And so, I told myself I wasn't going to do anything. So, then I had talked to my homegirl, and she was like, girl, no. She said, get in your car. Go to another city. I want you to book a room at a really nice hotel. And I want you to just really chill, reflect, get you a journal. Do whatever you need to do to reset yourself so that you're ready for this new chapter. Because you spend so much time doing so much for everybody else. You're forgetting about you. And I thought about it like, girl, you're speaking to my soul. You know what I'm saying? And I'm to the point now where I want to travel with or without the boys. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm about to get all of our passports so we can travel and we can see other things. But it's like I'm just opening my mind up to a whole new space that I never knew was even available to me. Like, so when she said that, at first I was a little bit hesitant. Like, what am I even going to do? But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I got the money to do it. I booked me a room at the JW Marriott, baby. Downtown Charlotte, baby. And it was so nice, okay? It was so nice. It was such an experience. And I stayed there. I took me a hot shower. I took my scooter, my electric scooter with me. And I rode the scooter around the city it, at, at night. It was so beautiful. I had got me a bottle of champagne, honey. I had me a glass of champagne. I took me a nice hot shower. I just really, like, was worried about me. I gave myself a foot massage, okay? Like, it was just, like, something that I've never done before. And that really just opened the door for me that just kind of let me know, like, this is for me. I need to start doing this. Little, little weekend excursions. What? Baby, here I come. What city are we going to next? Like, this was like a test for me, like, of exploring myself while I'm here in the States. Like, how am I going to do that if I'm, if I'm not even, if I haven't even done it here? How am I going to go to another country and see myself really just exploring me and doing stuff that I want to do and going places and discovering just different things like that for me just like solidify okay baby you got to do more you know what i'm saying like you're in a place now where you can do more so do more like there's nothing wrong with that like you should be able to live your life however you see fit you know what i'm saying that was just a luxury for me like girl i'm so grateful that i have you know an active and a present dad for my kids so that i can do that and i can't take that time out for myself but i felt no 
guilt, y'all. I felt no guilt around it. I did spend a lot on the room. I did feel like, because I'm so frugal, I was like literally in my mind, I was thinking to myself, like, I would never, you know what I'm saying? Again, spending some amount of money on the room. Oh my gosh, I was like beside myself with how much money I spent on the room, but I thought about it after, and I was like, it was so worth it. Like, every aspect of that time away was so worth it, and then I come back, and the very next day, I get to sign my lease. Like, I go look at a place, and I apply for it, and then within, like, the next 48 hours, I'm literally signing my lease. So, it was like me freeing myself, me realizing that I'm not in lack that I'm not deprived in any way that I do deserve. It was like the, like the, like God and the universe, like it needed for me to see that, you know what I'm saying? Like it needed for me to see that baby, you are where you're supposed to be. Everything is happening in your favor. Stop stressing, stop worrying. And I don't know. It was just like, I needed that so much. So when I say I'm about to start, Baby, I'm about to really get into it and really start traveling and doing me. Like, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait. Like, for real, for real. It's like, it's up. It's up from here. Like, I don't see nothing else for myself. And I've also been, like, considering moving out of the country. And to somebody that's probably, like, crazy, but, like, for real, getting a piece of real estate in another country and being able to go back and forth from here to there and being a therapist and, like, taking myself off of face-to-face -face interactions and doing more virtual interactions with people and actually having another home in another country or another few countries where I really like to be that like energetically does something for my spirit. Like, baby, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what life look like for nobody else, but for me, baby, I just, I have a tribal spirit. I have a nomad spirit. I'm one of those. So it's nothing for me to like, everything I want is at my fingertips. And like seeing what I had been through and like being in that space, just kind of, I like literally thought so, I had so many dark and negative thoughts during that time. Like the moment that I released myself from that and realized like, girl, you do deserve more. Like everything that I could have ever thought, like it just opened up my whole world, like a little flower. It like opened every everything up and I could just see everything right in front of me. Like, girl, Everything you want, you can have. I stopped myself so much when I was in a relationship because I was thinking about my partner. So I put myself on the back burner so many times, not really considering, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's really for me? Like, I wouldn't dress a certain way. I wasn't doing certain things. I wasn't, like, things that I knew I wanted to do. I had to buy a certain, like, bedding, and I had to buy certain furniture because, you know, So I wanted it to have like a mix of feminine and, and, and masculinity. So it's not like I'm doing too much for me. But now it's like all of that stuff don't even matter no more. Like my life is really about me. So everything is happening the way it's supposed to. I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm not any of that. And it just feels so good to be like moving forward in a direction that is like for me. Like I didn't know that this was for me at the time. Like I kind of did have a little bit of resistance around like why me? I felt like... Like things were happening to me instead of for me. And so I flipped that whole thing around. And it's like now I can really see how all of this was supposed to happen. This was within divine timing. Nobody plans for their relationship or for their situationship or the person that they're with to go awry and for things to just be something totally different. I never planned for that. I, I plan to have a forever life with the person that I was with. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, once things come to... I had to realize and recognize that it's not my job to try and keep nobody. Baby, it ain't your job to try and keep nobody. And it's not, it's also not my job to um like try and fit somebody into what what my happiness looks like. Like, no, everybody deserve everybody individually deserves to be happy. Everybody individually deserves to explore themselves to the highest of whatever that looked like for themselves. Like, and if you're not in alignment with that, who are you to like make somebody feel bad for not being in alignment with what you want? Like, I felt like I was being selfish in so many ways because I wanted to keep my relationship where it was for me, but not do anything to do anything to change what this person was wanting from me, if that makes sense. So I said, you know what? We're not in alignment and that's okay. Like things like this happen. I'm not in alignment with this person. So why would I force it and try and do something that, you know what I'm saying? Or put this person in a situation where they like 
not happy or they just with me just to be with me like that ain't no way to live that ain't no way to be for real so i had to be honest with myself and in that i was like wow like quita you can be selfish and you can stick this out or you can be unhappy and allow this person to do what they want but now you now you live in that lack you know what i'm saying now you now you def you now you deprived right and that is a low level energy and so i had to really like sit down and consider like is this really what i want for myself is this really what i want for him like no it's not so it's okay like we just not in alignment right now and so free yourself free me you feel me and i just am so happy that i'm not i wasn't that girl that just tried to hang on or to conform to what i was uncomfortable with because i thought i considered it don't get me wrong. Oh, yes. Miss Quita was going to consider doing and being a certain way for this person, even though I was uncomfortable. Like, do you know how deep or out of touch that you have to be with yourself to live like that? I literally had to see myself like, girl, bye. Like, do you know who you are? Like, you better stop playing with yourself. Like, what's not for you is just not for you. And that's another thing I kept seeing happen while I was in this, you know, transition into my new space. Like, there was a lot of stuff that just really was not for me. Like, and I had to recognize that, like, girl, this house ain't fall through for you because it's not the house for you. If it was for you, you would have got it, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to release, like, relinquish control. And that was something that I thought I had been working on all last year. Relinquishing control. Letting things go. Letting things flow. And I was. But it really didn't click for me how important it is to really recognize and not to harbor energy or to stay within a space and be upset about something that was never for you. Like, girl, why is you wasting time being upset about the job that was not for you? You wasn't supposed to be there. Like... Let that shit go so you can make room for new, you know, like the new has been waiting on you. But the longer that you wait in that situation or you keep yourself there unhappy or trying to make it work or trying to hold on, you like the universe and God will put put you through it. I went through it. Do you hear me trying to hang on to stuff that really wasn't for me? It was like I kept getting knocked down. I kept getting kicked while I was down. I kept thinking to myself, why am I going through this girl? Because you keep trying to hang on to something that ain't for you. Duh. The moment I relinquished control and I let go, it was like the world just opened up for me so differently. Like doors, people, experiences, everything was just so much lighter. And it was like, dang, I wasted so much time trying to hang on to old hokey doke, you know what I'm saying? Or the situation instead of just letting it go and allowing myself to really just be in the moment. Like, oh my God, I'm just so grateful that I have this level of mental capacity, you know what I'm saying? To just move forward and flow. But then again, you curl is a Pisces. Don't play with it. I'm a Pisces. So, you know, that's my energy. I'm a water sign. We supposed to be flowing. You know what I'm saying? So I've really been in tune with myself as of lately. And I'm just so grateful to be in this space. I just had to share that with y'all real quick. Cause I told y'all I wasn't going to go into depth, but y'all know I I'm, I'm just, I've been so ready to tell y'all what this looked like for me. And I know there's a woman out there right now who is sitting in a situation. Oh my gosh. She's sitting in a situation right now and she's just trying to make it work. Baby, you don't, anything that takes work or you have to force it is not for you. And I had to come to that conclusion too. If it takes a lot of work and a lot of energy, it, that, it you're doing too much. Nothing should take that much work or that much energy to just be. Like things should just be. And if you got to force it, then, then baby, you might need to be re reconsidering some things. You know what I'm saying? But I just need for people to see that even if you got kids, even if you're like in a si certain situation where you're dependent on somebody fully, that was me. Okay. And they were, they, they had everything. And so you were kind of just, you know, going with the flow and they were taking care of everything. And then you're left trying to consider like, how am I going to move forward? How am I going to pick up the pieces? Baby, you might have to go all the way down to get up just a little bit. And that's okay. Like, trust me, it's okay. Like everything is going to work out in your favor. But if you keep fighting against the grain and you keep trying to make stuff work, you're going to find yourself extremely unhappy and wasting a lot of time that is very precious. You're not going to get that time back. So the more you sit in it, the more you try and Think like, how is this going to work out? I ain't, don't be worried about all of that. 
because you're in, you're you're favored by God, everything is going to work out for you the way it's supposed to. You ain't got to force nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just be thinking about like girls that really are still stuck and have been for years in situations. Men too, because men do it too. They'll sit comfortably in a situation and not really be happy for real on a spirit level. And that's not what you're living for. Like you should not be unhappy or just living a life or, or just going with the flow. Like, because you like, no, that's not, that's not what you're here to do. You're not here to do that. You're not supposed to be up in here stressing. You're not supposed to be up in here feeling like you in lack. Like you're not enough. Like none of that. That's not even supposed to be your life. So I don't know. Like I had to really keep telling myself that as I was still going through things while I was already down. Like I felt like why am I going through this? But now I understand why I went through it. Like that was a part of the journey. Because that taught me I would never. Baby, when I say I would, ne I would never put up with the shit that I put up with ever again i will never be back in the same position that i was in just previously ever again like i i I'm, this is not me trying to bash nobody this is just me showing up for me and i'm just telling y'all what it is um never baby i don't give a, a flying flipping how much i love you how much i care about you i'm gonna always put me first moving forward and if that hurts somebody or somebody gets hurt in the process of me putting me forward they took that personally okay they didn't love themselves or love me enough to see why i'm acting the way i am why i'm protecting me why i'm moving forward why i'm trying to progress and that's okay but i will never and when i say never i mean never be in that type of position again i don't know what y'all going through or what that look like for y'all but you gotta love yourself enough to be able to just be like you know what baby it's cool. It's all right. I'm good. I'm good on it. I think sometimes we be feeling like we got to put ourselves through stuff. Like, I don't know, like, because we're comfortable or like, do you really love yourself though? Like, if you're really going through something and you unhappy, but you're going to let the unhappiness be because you're comfortable or you're scared to change or you're scared of what it's going to look like on the other side, baby. Forget all of that. Don't even worry about what the other side going to look like. It's just going to look better than what it's looking like right now. And it, you might have to go down to get up. But, okay, that's all. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. That's it. That's all. I'm not I'm not going to keep going because I just, I just you know, I, I just been going through so much. Like, my thoughts have just been going. Like, they have just been going. And I've had so many reflective moments, like, within this time period I'm just so ready to love on me, y'all, to romance me, to buy me flowers. Like, everything that I wanted for somebody else to do for me, I get to do that shit for myself. Like, I don't have to wait around for nobody to make me feel good about me. I can do that for me. Like, y'all don't understand that level of self-awareness, self-love, just like, baby... <laughs> I'm not waiting on nobody to love me the way I want to be loved. Like, I'm going to do that for myself because I deserve it. If I sit around and wait on somebody to do that, nobody's going to think about me the way I'm going to think about myself. If I sit around and wait on somebody, baby, I'm going to be old and gray. Life is going to have passed me by, and I'm going to still be waiting on somebody to meet my expectations of how I want to be loved. Why for? Why would I do that to myself when I can literally just give myself all of me? I can give myself everything that I could have ever imagined or ever want. I want to travel. I want to eat good. I want to um, live a healthy life. I want to exercise. I want to be in shape. I want to do all of these things, but there's nobody else that's going to guide me into those places and into those spaces but me. Ain't nobody else going to do that for me. Ain't nobody else going to want that so bad for me as bad as I'm going to want it for myself. So if you out there, you feeling like you living in lack, you feel like you don't, you're not doing enough. If life is not going for you, if you're not happy right now, like, baby, you got to be doing something different. You got to be making, even if it's small steps to happiness, make those small steps to happiness. Because when you look back, like me looking back right now and looking at everything that I went through, it's almost like, uh, like I'm reading somebody else's story. That's how clear and vivid everything I went through was. I, I can just see like everything laid out on a timeline. Like when I think about how much I went through just to get here, 
I would have never thought. I just thought it was only going to get worse. But somewhere in there, like, God had me. You feel me? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just feel so grateful that I just never allowed myself to stay or ponder in those situations. Because it can get so easy to get settled into the darkness and start blaming and start feeling like self-sabotaging and just really putting yourself into an even darker space. And I was like, I, not me. I'm, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just so grateful that I had enough love for myself even in that that low space or that dark space to just be like no ma'am absolutely not we're not gonna do that we're not gonna put up with that you don't have to take that you don't have to do that move on leave you know what i'm saying like i kept having to tell myself like instead of giving energy i'll leave i don't gotta be nowhere that i'm not wanted what you mean you're not gonna talk to me crazy i'm not gonna deal with none of that i will leave first you know what i'm saying so it was just like a different level of self-love being so low being down so low like damn i don't have to take this i don't have to do none of this like it's cool how much lower can it go you know what i'm saying like i'm, I'm the one that facilitates how i'm gonna feel like i dictate how i'm gonna move forward like ain't nobody else about to be in control of it but me and so that was just my little spiel to the girlies because I feel like a lot of us kind of get stuck. Like, we be wanting so much and we be expecting so much. Like, our expectations of people be so high. We be having expectations all the way up here and they really should be down here for the person that we're expecting it from. Like, baby, look at how they showing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why do you have expectations up here and they constantly just, they can't even get past this, baby. Like, what is you doing? Like, why is you doing that to yourself? Like, you playing yourself. That was another thing. I had to realize how I was playing myself more than somebody else was playing me. For years, I used to say, oh, you trying to play me. No, quit. You trying to play yourself. You playing yourself by sitting there acting like you playing yourself by sitting there putting up with that. You playing yourself. They not playing you. They just doing what you're allowing them to do. You playing you first by even accepting it. By even, you know what I'm saying, putting yourself in a space to be there to receive it. Like, girl, you better move on. You better kick rocks with no socks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to deal with none of that. That was, that's a, that was a lie. I know I just said a, a, a mouthful. I just gave y'all a mouth and an earful of just shit. But I'm serious though. Like I'm just I'm just telling y'all my reflections of being in this space and just knowing that there's other girls out there that may feel alone or not know what to do to move forward. But baby, there is a forward. There is always a up. There is always a better. And if you're not happy in the now, don't waste your time pondering on why you're unhappy in the now. You should be doing things every single day to pour back into yourself. Gotta go. Because that means my kids must be real close or, or outside and, and their daddy might need help. So let me go. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. We got to get back in tune. So I'm, I'm definitely going to talk to y'all soon. But peace, y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm so sorry I have to leave like this. But I got to get my kids. Um, I'll close this out. Hold up. Okay, bye, y'all.